Hey guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, we are going to show you practically how to solve the con producer consumer problem. So this question was asked in most of the interviews. So please watch the video till end to understand how to solve the producer consumer problem. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Okay. So let me explain the problem statement. Here, a producer is going to produce the data, and then it should notify the consumer to consume the data. Then Consumer is going to consume the data and notify the producer to produce the data. So we have to implement this feature. Yeah, and uh, I am going to utilize a thread functionality for achieving this feature. All right. So let me start. I am going to create a class known as um, producer consumer. So uh, let's name this as producer consumer. Uh, this class will have the logic for two methods. One is uh, to produce the data. And one is to consume the data. And for data part, we are going to use linked list. So linked list is going to hold the data, and we are going to create linked list of integer. Uh, so the producer is going to create one integer, and uh, the consumer is going to consume that integer. So this is going to be my list and new linked list. All right. So this is a linked list where producer is going to insert the data, and consumer is going to retrieve the data. So let's try to uh, write the alert, try to write the logic for producer. So I'm going to write a method uh, which is public void, and I'm going to name this method as produce as its responsibility is to uh, produce the data. And this method throws uh, interrupted exception because so uh, it is going to be called from thread. So let's throw interrupted exception. All right. So this is the body of your uh, method produce method. Now. I am going to uh, do while loop. So I am. I'll try to produce the data uh, until the data is not there in the list. So this is going to be while while true. So this is going to be an infinite loop for me in producer. And uh, after that, I am going to synchronize on the current object, which is synchronized of this. So when I do synchronized of this, it is going to acquire lock at the level of producer consumer so it is going to acquire lock at the object of class producer consumer all right so after synchronization the first step is to check if the list has the data so if the list has the data producer is going to wait and if the list does not have the data then producer is going to produce the data so this condition list dot size so if the size of the list is uh, greater than zero, that means the list already has some data. In this case, producer does not have to produce more data. It will just wait. It doesn't do anything. It will wait. All right. Now consider if the list is empty. In that case, we are going to uh, sys out that the data is produced or uh, produced data. And the data that we produced is uh, going to be a value. So for a value, I'm going to declare one variable in teacher uh, value. I'm going to assign zero to the value. And I'm going to uh, print that value, which we are going to produce. And after producing, uh, we are going to add this value to the list. So we have a list. So the consumer is going to consume from this list. So that is the reason we are adding our data to this list, uh, which is going to be our value. And after adding the value, we are going to do a value plus plus. Uh, this is for the next iteration that we are going to have. So this is going to be our value plus plus. And once we produce the data, once we add the data to the list, uh, we are going to uh, notify other threads, which is our consumer thread. So that is the reason we are going to use uh, notify. So this is the uh, logic for produce method. Uh, let me just go through uh, this logic. Uh, so the first thing is we acquire the lock on the current object of producer consumer and we check if the size is greater than zero that means already the data is present in the list uh, in that case we are going to wait we are not going to perform any operation here if the size is equal to zero that means we are going to produce data and we are going to add data to the list and after adding data to the list we are going to notify the consumer that the data is already produced so this is about the uh, produce method. Now we are going to write uh, one more method, which is known as uh, consume. Similarly, 
we are going to write consume. So let me just uh, go down. Uh, so this is going to be public uh, void and consume. And consume will also throw interrupted exception as uh, producer throws it. So let me interrupted exception. All right. So the duty of consumer is to consume the data from the list uh, where producer added the data. So here also we are going to have one while loop, which is your infinite loop. Uh, so let me write while uh, true. Here I'm going to check that uh, if there is any data present in the list for that again i have to perform uh, synchronized and why we are doing this synchronization because when producer is trying to produce the data at that stage uh, consumer shouldn't try to consume the data so that is the reason we are trying to synchronize on the current object so let's try to uh, synchronize on this so once we do a synchronization uh, in this we are going to check if the list has uh, any data for that, we are going to uh, utilize uh, the size method. So while, so this is going to be while a list of uh, list dot size is equal to equal to zero, then we have to wait. So this means uh, the consumer cannot consume the data if the list is empty. So that is the reason a list dot size is equal to equal to zero, then consumer is going to wait. After this, if it comes to this location, line number 33, that means the list has some data in it. In that case, we are going to extract uh, the value from the list. So for extracting the value, I'm going to use list.remove first. So this will give me the first element from, from the list, remove first. And then we are going to print uh, that the consumer consumed the data. So consumer and uh, we are going to add mm, the value that we just consumed, which is our uh, value. So this is about consumer. And after consuming the data, I want to notify the producer uh, that the data has been consumed. Uh, so I'm going to use notify. All right. So just to make this program more manageable, I'm going to add a uh, thread.sleep uh, in both producer and consumer. And I'm going to wait for 1000 milliseconds which is your one second so similarly i'm going to add this in uh, in the produce method as well okay so after notify uh, i am going to add uh, this thread dot sleep so this will give us one second uh, to uh, just look at the output so producer will produce the data and add it to the list consumer will consume the data from the list okay so this is uh, about producer consumer now we need to create two threads uh, one for producer and one for uh, consumer. So let's uh, try to create a thread T1 equal to new thread. All right, and I'm going to pass a new runnable to this. So let's try to add a runnable. So as you know, runnable has one uh, default method in it. Uh, by default, we have to override our run method. So this is going to be my uh, T1, but for calling producer, you need object of your producer consumer. So let me create a uh, producer consumer uh, PC. I'll call this as PC new producer consumer. All right. So from this thread, I'm going to call uh, PC dot produce. This will be my first thread, which will call uh, produce. But as we know, producer uh, throws interrupted exception. So I'm going to surround this by uh, try catch. So this is my producer thread. Now I am going to have one more thread, which is my uh, consumer thread. So thread T2 equals uh, new uh, thread. And I'm going to pass runnable um, as a target. So for passing runnable, I have to override the run method. On uh, similar lines, I'm going to call um, pc.consume. All right. And uh, as we know, consume also throws uh, interrupted exception. So I have to surround this by uh, interrupted exception, try catch block. All right. Now I just created the thread. It is not yet executing. It is not yet uh, started. So I went, I would do t1 dot uh, start. Here my t1 will uh, move into runnable state. And from there, it will start execution whenever CPU uh, schedules it. Then I'll do t2 dot start. All right. So the, I have started uh, T1 and T2. And at the end, 
once we are done uh, with uh, with our uh, code i would like uh, t1 dot join i want t1 to finish one uh, before t2 t2 dot join so what is the problem unhandled exception so i'll throw uh, the exception from my main class so main also throws interrupted exception all right so this is the logic for um, producer and consumer uh, should i run this logic yes you can run it uh, let me run this uh, logic and see if it works so you can see uh, produce data 0 consume data 0 produce data 1 consume data 1 uh, similarly, two, three, and four, as we have added this in in the infinite loop. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Bye. Perfect. Thank you. Bye.